So I'll write up James A. Cohen's work here. Social baseline theory. <laughs> and what James A. Cohen discovered was he discovered that we are change by accompaniment. So if there's somebody who uh, would be willing to be my research subject and be filmed for a little moment, I will talk to you about James A. Cohen's first experiment. Are you willing, Kenitra? Please am. come up here. I will be James A. Cohen, and Kenitra will be my research subject. <laughs> Should I make a, a rat-like movement? <laughs> <laughs> no, you get to be a human. You get to be a human. And I, I need two more people who are willing to be fi filmed who I can call up in just a moment. Are there two more people who are willing? Barbara's willing. Do I have another willing person? And Vicky's willing. OK. So here is Kenitra. And Kenitra, what we're going to do is we're going to put Kenitra into an MRI machine. And we're going to have a little ankle bracelet that shocks her ankle when she's in the MRI machine. So here she is, she's in the MRI machine, going into the big white tunnel, and she's lying on her back for your information, and she gets all the way in, and we're filming her brain, and then there's a shock to her ankle, and her brain <laughs> shows pain. And this, of course, is what we would expect. Then we bring Vicky, who Kenitra has never met before in her life, ever. And we say, okay, Kenitra, you're just going to be with, Ke you're just, oh, sorry, Vicky, you're going to be with Kenitra. Just stand right there, yes. While we put Kenitra into the fMRI machine, you're just going to be sitting there. She's going to know you're there. So now we're putting Kenitra into the fMRI machine. And, and we have the ankle bracelet, and we shock her. And this time, her brain shows less pain then it showed the first time there's somebody with her, even though she doesn't know Vicky. Yeah. And then what we do, so now you can sit down, Vicky, is we bring Barbara. Barbara has known Kenitra since birth, is a very good friend, most beloved. And we put <laughs> Kenitra into the MRI machine, and then we shock her ankle, and there's no sign of pain. No sign of pain, because when we are accompanied, life is easier. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, he went on to do uh, another experiment where he had people est look at mountains and estimate how steep they were. And people would estimate that they were more steep than they were when they were alone. <laughs> and when they looked at the mountain and they estimated how steep it was when there was somebody with them, it was sort of more on par with what was really there. And if it was someone who was beloved, then they saw the mountain as being less steep than it was. We experience life not only with less pain when we are accompanied, we also experience life with less effort. It is less effortful to be in this life when there is someone with us. So James A. Cohen's work is, of course, a beautiful support to our deepening understanding of the importance of resonance. And it speaks both to the experience of losing someone who has been our accompaniment for mountains being less steep, and how life changes. But it also speaks to what it's like to be in a room of people who are at least holding an intention to wonder uh, about how it is for you. And that this also is a way of accompanying. When we come into relational connection then and with a warm curiosity and an intention to wonder, then we move into a different place.